Hi you guys, welcome to today's small group. Um, I am not exactly sure where the small group is going, but I think the main topic is gonna be run after your call. So that is what I'm gonna be getting at today. But before I get started, um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for your guys' responses and your comments last week on last week's small group. And if you guys watched the miscarriage video as well, um, because especially the miscarriage video that was very vulnerable to share and it was really scary um, to really like put my heart out there as much as I did and to be honest with you the night that I posted that I almost like I, I didn't really want to but I was thinking like oh my gosh like was that too much to share um, and I'm just being honest with you guys like I was like totally freaked out I'm like whoa I may have crossed the line like was that too much um, but I stuck with it and I am so glad that I shared that video with you guys because the responses that you guys were brave enough to share with me, the emails that I've got and the texts I got, um, the comments that you guys shared down below, I mean, man, like, I was really, really blown away, and it's, like, it's funny, every time I feel like the enemy was trying to tell me, like, oh, you went too far, you better delete that, it seemed like somebody had something to say where they connected with it, they, you know, could apply it to their life, and so I just want to say thank you guys so much for uh, responding, for being brave and being open and raw and honest with me and trusting me with your heart um, and sharing those things with me because that really meant a lot and that encouraged me on this journey that even I'm on and I'm happy that I encouraged you guys as well um, so I'm excited for another week of small group and for the miscarriage series um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into today's small group I hope that you guys have had like I said an awesome Monday so far um, and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get into it Today I want to talk about kind of running after the call in your life and I say running on purpose because I don't want to I don't want to walk to my calling I don't want to slowly inch to my calling I want to run after what God has for me and um, the past two years about two and a half years now I feel like I've had a very um, specific dream in my heart of what I want to do and it's looked a lot different than I thought that it would um, pretty much in every sense of the way or every sense of the word it has looked completely different different um, than what I had in my head but the dream I have in my heart has stayed the same and the words that God has spoken has stayed the same and to, to make a very long story short a few weeks ago I all of a sudden um, probably like three or four weeks ago now I was honestly overwhelmed with a sense of feeling lost feeling like I didn't know what I was doing feeling like all the plans that I had for this calling for my life were just like getting wrecked um, just in the sense of even, you know, I thought I was having a baby this year, that plan, you know, is no longer there. Um, I thought A, B, and C for how this calling would look when I walked it out. All those things are completely different than what I thought and it has been so good um, but I just came to this realization like this is not what I planned um, and that was kind of the kicker was I was going off of what my plans were and I think that we do that a lot you know God gives us his dream and, and you know we're human so we want to plan it out and we want to say this is how it's gonna look and when it doesn't happen the way that we think it's gonna happen it can be really really challenging um, and so that's when we kind of have to go back to the Lord and say okay clean slate, do what you want to do. Um, so I, like I said, I just felt this overwhelming sense of feeling lost. And maybe you guys, some of you guys maybe feel like that right now. Um, but I just felt like, oh man, like, I don't know how to execute, you know, this dream that I have in my heart. I don't know where to put my attention. I don't know, you know, all of these things. I just felt like I don't know what I'm doing right now. And that was a really, really devastating feeling for me because I just felt like the past two and a half years I've dedicated to you know pursuing this calling and because it's looked a lot different than I thought that it was gonna look um, you know as far as timing as far as all these things I just came to a place where I'm like wait a second what is going on so to make a long story short I ended up taking a part-time job um, that I should not have taken and not because it wasn't a great job um, but because I prayed briefly on it but mostly because I was feeling so lost I kind of talked myself into like okay maybe this is just what God has for me right now um, maybe it'll be good financially you know it'll allow this this and this and I kind of came up with my own reasons for why I should do it and I just kind of decided, well, I don't know what my life has come to, like as far as like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my life and I love pretty much everything about it, but just specifically in my calling, um, I just was feeling like, whoa, what is happening, you know? So anyway, so I was feeling lost, I ended up taking this job, and the whole first day on this job, I 
just could not stop thinking, what am I doing here? Like, what am I doing? Like, I just felt like I had taken this job that was completely this way when I needed to be running towards my calling this way. And it felt like the more time I was gonna be spending over here, the less time um, I would be, you know, having time to pursue my calling, to pursue my dream. Um, and so I left the job in tears and not because it, w it went badly, it was great, it was with kids, I love kids, um, you know, before I, before God gave me this dream in my heart to, you know, really encourage and empower women, um, I, I was going to school to be a teacher, so I just thought, oh, this job makes sense, but I actually left in tears just thinking, like, I totally did not have peace when I was doing the job when I left the job and I just thought like what am I doing here and have you ever got have you guys ever found yourself in a place where you're, and maybe you're here right now where you're just thinking what am I doing here you know what has my life come to where is my purpose where is my calling what am I doing right and um, as hard as that was for me to walk through I decided, you know, I'm going to press into God during this and I'm okay with wandering what feels like aimlessly um, if I'm hand in hand in Jesus and I know that I can trust him and I know that he will lead me exactly where he wants me to be. So that's what I did. I just, you know, prayed. I'm like, okay, obviously my plans are not working out the way that I thought and I feel like typically that's kind of how it happens. Um, so I just said, you know what, God? take the lead, take control. You know, my plans aren't happening how I thought that they were going to happen. Um, but that doesn't mean that God's not working in my life. That doesn't mean that, you know, the Lord isn't moving in ways that I can't see him moving. Um, and sometimes I think too, we're so focused on what the end goal of our dream is that we think that we're not getting anywhere when really we are taking those baby steps towards it. Um, but we're just not even recognizing it because we want the end result. We want, you know, the, the season of the mountaintop and look, you know, being able to see all that you've accomplished through God, you know? So I was happy that it happened and I was happy that, um, I did take the job, not because it was right for me, but because it allowed me to really, really reevaluate my heart, reevaluate the plans, um, that I had made and that I just had to say, okay, like I'm surrendering my dreams back to you I'm surrendering um, the way that I want it to look and that's what I meant when I said last week you know I don't want my best I want God's best and in the same sense I don't want my plans for my life because my plans are gonna be like this because I can only see so much because we're human right we can, we don't see the whole picture so I want God's plans because he it can do so much more than I would have ever even dreamt of thinking that I could do you know through him and so um, so I just want to encourage you that if you feel like you are not, um, you know, if you don't feel like you have like a specific call in your life and it doesn't have to be something where, um, you know, I think the enemy tricks us a lot of times in thinking, well, if it's not, you know, something crazy, like if we're not missionaries going overseas and doing this, this, and this, and, um, something like so adventurous and extravagant like that, then it's not important. And that is such a lie. Um, you know, if you feel like you are being called or if you feel like your main calling in life is being a mom, like I just want to tell you that is enough and that is a big calling to raise little human beings that are going to go out in the world and, you know, make a difference. And so whatever you feel like your calling is, and if you don't feel like you have a calling, if you don't feel like you have, like, you know, your specific purpose in life, um, I was there at one point too and I talked about that last week, how someone asked me, what are you passionate about? And I had no idea what I was passionate about and I had to pray like, God, give me a passion, give me something that just sets that's my soul on fire. Um, so whatever stage that you're at, if you feel like you don't know your purpose, if you feel like you maybe know your purpose, or you feel like you have a, a desire in your heart, but maybe you feel like it's inadequate and it's not enough, I want to encourage you today, stop believing the lies that the enemy is trying to sow into your heart. Just pray and just ask God, okay, what is it that you want me to do? And you know, sometimes God gives us like a baby step. It's not always the big picture because I think sometimes if God were to give us a big picture, of exactly what it's going to look like at the end of, you know, this promise coming to fruition, then I think sometimes we would run the other way. You know what I mean? Like, I think God has to prepare us and prepare our hearts for the big and the, and the bold things that we're going to do. And he has to prepare us through those baby steps. Um, so don't, 
you know, despise small beginnings. I wish that I would have really um, taken that to heart when people kept telling me that in the beginning of pursuing this dream because, uh, you know, within months of starting, I thought, oh, it's going to grow and it's going to do this and it's going to do that. And, and when it didn't happen, it would, and because I had set these standards for myself. Um, and when it didn't happen, I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, it was so devastating. It was hard. So if you're in the beginning of pursuing the calling on your life, don't despise small beginnings because God does so much. Um, um, through the you know the growth process through getting us to where he needs to be um, and now I feel like I'm in a place where it's like I don't mind waiting um, anymore because I know that even though it feels like I'm waiting that God is doing so much in my heart and is preparing me so much for the things that are to come um, so like I said before too if you feel like you know you're just inching along or you just have baby steps or you know whatever I feel like um, just do those baby steps um, one of my uh, really close like friends slash mentor, her name is Jen, and uh, last, it was either last week or the week before, and we were just having this conversation, and she said, you know, you just have to do something every single week. Um, she was like, it's like a kid who says, I'm never going to crawl, I'm never going to walk because I can't run, right? Ultimately, you want to be able to run, but in order to run, you have to first crawl, and you have, you're, you know, as a baby, you have to sit up, you have to crawl, you have to scooch, you know, yourself forward, and then you walk, and then you walk faster, and then you're able to run, and then you're able to jump, um, but, and so she was saying in that same way, you know, don't despise the baby steps that you're making, because even though it feels like you might not be going as fast, or, um, so, you know, it's, it's not on your timeline, um, she was just saying, you know, don't stop and don't stop moving just because you're not at the running stage yet and I just thought that was so powerful and it just really encouraged me um, so I just want to share that because I, I hope that encouraged you to you guys too but whatever um, you know step that you guys are in whatever part of the process that you're in I just want to encourage you to keep going um, keep going after the call that you have on your life because what God is calling you to is so important and is so needed and no one else is going to be able to do it like you can do it and so I just want to encourage you keep going don't stop keep moving forward even if it feels like you're not making that much progress um, run towards the calling on your life that was another thing that I wanted to tell you guys was I feel like before I took that job I was a little bit more lackadaisical about you know the calling and the purpose that God has given me and placed on me and I just thought oh I'll, you know make a video next week or I'll do this next week or I don't really have time today so I'll just I'll do you know I'll do it sometime soon um, and once I took that job and I felt like you know, I truly felt like I was stepping out of the calling. It was the worst feeling, you guys. Um, and I don't want you guys to have to experience it, but maybe you are. And that's why I want to encourage you is that because I felt like I went the opposite direction of what God was asking me to do. And I kind of took a step back and just, you know, reevaluated how, what I was doing. And I just thought there is nothing more that I want to do than pursue the calling that I have on my life because it's important, it's needed, um, and just like your calling, it's important, it's needed, uh, you need to do it. And so even though it was hard and it, I, d I didn't feel good during the process of feeling lost and feeling like I was walking the other direction that I was supposed to be walking in, um, it didn't feel good, but I am so thankful for it because, you know, it says in the Bible that God works everything for our good, right, for those who love him, and I just thought break coming to this place of feeling like I was lost and feeling like I was wandering aimlessly and like I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing um, but because I brought that to the Lord he was so good and so faithful like he always is he just got me to a place where I just said forget my plans I don't want my plans anymore I only want God's plans and God's best because my best I'm gonna get to here with my best maybe if I'm lucky but with God's best I'm going all the way up here because he is gonna make me able and he qualifies me to be able to do the things that I'm doing um, and that he's gonna have me do one day and so I just want to encourage you, wherever you're at in the scale of, of if you're about to reach, you know, the fulfilled promise or if you are way at the beginning and you have no idea what you're supposed to be doing, it's okay. And just, um, I want to encourage you to press into God wherever you are um, on that kind of 
path because God's faithful. He will show you exactly where he wants you to be and he will put these dreams in your heart and he's going to show you how to execute them. And um, that was a hard thing for me was I felt like I the, the goal was still the same in my heart, but I didn't know how or where or what to do and able to be able to execute that. Um, and so I, when I got to the place where I just started feeling lost, I just thought, man, I just need to be hand in hand with Jesus. And if I'm hand in hand walking with the Lord, am I really lost? Am I really, uh, you know, going aimlessly? And even though it felt like I was at the time, I honestly feel like God just totally used the bad day to be able to launch me forward. And now I feel like I'm living every day with way more purpose, with way more intention, um, way more, you know, paying attention to where I'm spending my time, what I'm doing each day, because I just thought, I don't want to waste another day going after anything that God doesn't want me going after. I want to be intentional and I want to run, not walk. I don't want to dip my toes in the plans that God has for me. I want to completely jump jump in and get head deep, you know, in the waters that God has me you know, that God has prepared for me. And so I just want to encourage you, um, don't, don't walk towards your calling. Don't be lackadaisical in it because I wish I didn't have to learn that the hard way, but Hey, God knows what we need, you know? And I think that when we start veering off the path that he's faithful to get us back on. And, um, so I just want to encourage you, uh, don't walk towards your calling. Don't walk in it. Don't dip your toes in. Don't just go knee deep. I want to encourage you just dive in wherever God's asking you to place your time. Don't get discouraged if you feel like you only have a baby step because a lot of times the baby step is the important part and it's baby steps that is going to get us to the fulfilled promise. A lot of times it's not some giant leap and your whole life changes within, you know, one day when it's regarding your purpose and your calling. I think a lot of times it's being faithful in the small things, being faithful in the baby steps because it's the baby steps that are going to get us to, you know, crawl and to walk and then eventually to run. Um, you know, like, like I was saying earlier, so I just want to encourage you, uh, run after your calling. I want to encourage you to pray about everything. And if you don't have peace about something or you feel like you don't have a clear answer of what you're supposed to be doing, don't rush into something like I did um, and try to figure it out on your own. Be faithful and wait until you have a clear black or white, yes or no. And the last thing I want to tell you is do not settle on anything. You know, it's funny. I was in my small group just a week before I had taken this job and this amazing lady that I know in there she had told me that she had this word for me and she said you know basically God was saying don't settle that was her word was don't settle and I had completely settled when I decided to walk the other way rather than be patiently waiting um, and walking and running in my calling and so I want to encourage you don't settle on anything less than um, the dreams that God's placed in your heart because if he's put those dreams in your heart he's gonna be faithful he's gonna bring it to fruition it probably isn't gonna be on our timetable because that is probably 99% of the time how it works um, but I just want to encourage you keep going pray about everything until you have a black or white answer um, and run towards your calling because it's needed we need to hear what you have to say we need you know those amazing kids that are gonna grow up and change the world whatever you feel like your calling is it's needed and um, God is a very specific and divine purpose and calling for your life so I hope that leaves you guys encouraged I feel like I was a little bit all over the place today but I hope that all made sense um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments and Let's see, for today's comment, maybe um, if you are bold enough, then share where you're at in your path and in your journey. If you're, you know, praying on where you're passionate or if you're trying to be faithful and hang on during the, the waiting process and the timing of, of it all and letting God grow your heart. Or if you are cheering and in victory of a fulfilled promise. I want to know where you guys are at because I feel like I've gone in so many places on this journey. Um, so I want to connect with you guys and hear where you guys are at and let's just encourage each other in the comments and um yeah i'm super excited so thank you guys so much for joining today's small group we will have it again next monday at six o'clock and thank you guys so much for watching also subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already that way you guys will get notified of when i upload a new video so when there's a new small group and there's a new you know fun tutorial um or the miscarriage series you'll get notified of that so yeah please subscribe and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys soon. Bye!